Hello everybody, welcome to the third episode of this Let's Play series. Today we are going to work on the chest room, hopefully finish that up. We're going to work on the terrace that I mentioned um, last episode outside of here. We'll finish that up as well. Um, and then I want to get the floor plan layout done for the other um, like parts of the, the castle that we have here, like the Great Hall will be out here. There's some towers outside of there, um, and then I don't really, I'm not sure what to do with this area over here just yet, but we'll um, start laying that out. And then if we have time for it, I want to start work on stables or at least animal pens for the for the time being until we uh, know exactly where we want to have our stables. Um, I want to start working on more farms get some dark oak wood that would be great and um, work on some paths and roads around our little plains biome here um, i think it would probably add a lot of just some like minor details but it would add like some storytelling if we had a path that you could see that ran all the way down that valley because then it makes you think well where's where does that go so it kind of like draws your attention and um, lets your your brain in mind go like to think about what where do these other roads lead to and eventually we'll follow down those paths and, and make um, make some other ta <clears throat> towns or cities or whatever we have uh, like those mountain biomes that we saw um, in episode one I definitely want to have a trail that runs all the way down there with that big bridge that I mentioned um, and then have like a a Viking city or something down there. So um, that's the plan for this episode. I'm going to collect um, a little bit more stone. I ran out of a lot of it. I think I'm down to under two stacks now. So I'm going to go collect more stone uh, and then we will begin work on the chest room, which is going to be right here. So let me just show you this real quick. So this is the second floor of the tower. It, uh, I'm going to have a little balcony here so you can access it from the chest room um, it's just a rough oh, oh I almost broke that um, just a rough layout right now then this staircase is going to come up and meet the spiral staircase um, let me see so you can come up this way so like a typical medieval castle I want this to be kind of a maze um, so it's going to have some really winding you go down, it goes down this way, you go up, you already have two options. You can keep going up or you can come out this way. This is going to be a little balcony in the Great Hall. So I want to have like a lot of different um, like twists and turns, like a, a typical castle would, where um, the, if, the, if it were an ever raided or um, taken over by enemies, then they kind of get lost in it. So. That's the plan, I guess. I'm gonna go get some more stone and get back to you guys when we're ready to uh, really start working on the chest room. All right, so I've gone and collected a decent amount of andesite and, and some stone. Um, I started work on this little stairway balcony that I had mentioned. Um, I think now that I'm looking at it like this, I think I'm gonna want maybe two, two layers of, although, it would be pretty tall if we did it up here. So actually, I'm not, not entirely sure how I want to do the chest room yet. I think it would be cool to have another balcony that runs along the outside with more chests on the top, but then we'd have to rework this, this area a little bit, uh, which wouldn't be terrible. We could still maybe do a little jut out here and go around, or I can continue this oops, all the way over to the wall and then somehow work this down, or we just won't have... Um, a stairway to the second floor up there, which will be fine too, I think. But I, I do want to have, I think it would be nice to be down here and look up and see chests from like the first floor and the second floor. Um, I also have these little uh, cut out archways, which I have to do a little more detail to make them a little uh, smoother. Um, I think I'll probably do some, some walls, like anisite walls and uh, stone brick walls on the outside here and then maybe some stairs on the top there um, but yeah this is the progress we have so far i i'm just gonna fill in the floor like i did in this room um, just 
completely with um, spruce wood planks because I'm not really sure yet how I want it to be like detailed I guess so we'll fill it in like this and eventually I'll come back and, and um, redo it a little bit I'm also uh, I think I'm gonna do a some sort of copper roof on the outside of this one I think that'll be um, kind of cool to have I think I want a um, every building that's not like a tower with a flat top like this with crenellations eventually I'll put those up there um, I think I'm gonna want some some copper and I'll um, kind of weather them I'll wax them uh, to make a good design not just completely like all random pieces or uh, green and other pieces of orange I'll make, really make it kind of look I guess like it it should um, realistically I guess so I'm gonna do a little bit of work on the walls here um, I might do a little bit of work on the terrace as well and then I will uh, get back to you guys with with any updates so we also um, just traded for I think one of the oh my goodness uh, I'm gonna die oh that was close I thought it was gonna I need to be more careful. I need to get better armor. Fighting is not, or uh, PVE is not my strong suit in this game. I um, That would have been the second time I've died from a zombie as well. I know this one would have been a, a on fire flame um, baby zombie. So that would have been a little bit easier to deal with, you know, emotionally. Um, but yeah, it's I'm not doing great in terms of uh, mob mob fighting right now I, I i mean i am just rocking almost broken iron armor so i, I should um i should get around to getting better armor for myself i am playing on on hard mode um but i that's not really a priority at the moment i think i definitely want to enchant before i go to the nether um, i would like some fire protection um, blast protection would be nice too these guys are just hanging out here with the donkey that's that's awesome um but yeah, so I meant to just start this clip uh, to show that I got some moss blocks, uh, which I think are one of the greatest blocks that they have added uh, in recent years. It's it's just perfect. And like all the things you can do with it, um, now you can make mossy stone bricks with this recipe instead of the vines, which I think makes much more sense. Um, it's a lot easier, I think, to, to farm this than vines because you have to put vines on the wall and then shear them yeah so this is much better um and then everything that comes with like the uh the azalea um bushes or the flowering azalea bushes or whatever the hell uh, whatever those things are called um i think these are great and then the little like moss carpets whatever those are called as well i think they're i thought i had some maybe i don't well either way um I'm glad I got these this block because I haven't found a lush cave. Is that what they're called? Oh, maybe I don't have any. I just sworn I did. Um, but yeah, I haven't found a lush cave. I haven't found a um, one of those dripstone caves either, which I've been surprised about because I've done a decent amount of mining. I mean, a lot of this comes in handy um, or com uh, can be credited to the fortune enchantment. Uh, but I've I feel like I've explored. A decent amount of mines and yeah I guess I guess I don't have any of the moss carpet things but that's fine we can just bone meal that um, and it's really easy to farm so that's perfect for us um, and I need to set up a farm with this guy too but that's gonna be a few episodes away I need to um, duplicate him as well with the uh, music blocks right or the um, jukeboxes I think that's how you uh, how you do it. Whatever, we'll figure it out. All right, a little bit of update here. I've uh, put some more work in on the walls. I think I'm pretty happy with how they're looking so far. This is actually going to be about half the height of this tower, which I mm, might not be too thrilled with because it's going to make the tower look not as tall in comparison so maybe we might have to extend the height of the tower a little bit which will be fine um, but 
this is the first level. I think I might indent the walls one block just to have a, a little bit of um, a little bit of extra added detail there. Um, we're looking at some like tiny, like thin, very tall windows here. I'll put some panes in. I also want to do something with this area here. I'm not exactly sure what. I might just do. Um, maybe continue the the thin windows, but we'll see. Um, the balcony will start a few blocks above here. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, it's not really working. I might have the balcony go up this way, go up this way, and then a little a bit of a climb, but not all the way up to there. Um, we'll see if I can incorporate a, a stairway going up into here, but I don't want to cut too deep into the floor here because then you'll see it on the underside of the ceiling over here. So if I can find a way to mask that, I will, uh, but I don't want to see a stairway coming down this way. Um, so we'll see if I can do that. If not, it's fine. We have a connection right here and you just need to go up a little bit of stairs. Oops and you're already here. So it's really not incredibly necessary. I also need to figure out how I wanna plan out this um, this area here. I think I'm gonna want this floor to be, I'm not sure actually, because we're gonna have a library, we're gonna have another floor that's gonna be a potions room, and then the top floor will be like the trophy, um, kinda like our bedroom area. Um, but this is gonna be a lot of space to fill if we were to make um, like a massive library here. I think it'll be fine though. I think we'll, we'll be able to have a, like a grand table on one side, um, maybe a little map, or a, um, like a map table like in the uh, Woodland Mansion. We could do that, that'd be nice. We could have just our enchanting table in one corner, um, maybe up on like a little like raised platform and then bookshelves all over the place. We can do some pretty tall bookshelves too, with uh, if, especially if we have the next floor starting right here. So that's gonna be pretty nice. Um, yeah, let me know, uh, because if we do have this floor go up until this balcony, and then the next floor will go up until this balcony, we'll have two more, like, 10 block or 10 block space up here for another floor, and then I think I'll if I am going to extend the, the height of the tower, my uh, the bedroom will be starting at the top here. So I'll need an idea for another floor. I can start thinking about it. Um, but if you guys have any ideas, uh, please let me know. So we're doing a potions floor, a library floor. I don't know. We're, we're going to have... Um, I don't know. I, I don't want smelting up in the tower, I would like smelting on the ground floor in a separate little building. I think that would uh, make the most sense. We can add some like chimneys and uh, some like smokestacks outside and put campfires in it so that we can see the active smoke coming out. I think that's gonna be a really great touch. So if you guys have any ideas, it might just be another um, get decorative uh, like floor, maybe it doesn't have a use, or we could extend the heights of the potion and library to be this this tall and then we wouldn't need another floor I think that's probably gonna be what we end up doing um, so that they're all three floors tall if that makes sense instead of just stopping right here and we can do the same um, ceiling in every floor just to keep it consistent and uh, so yeah I'm gonna continue with these walls I, they're gonna be about twice the height that they are now um, I can show you guys once I finish up with that. And then I got to start chopping down a lot of trees, um, some of these spruce trees, because we're going to have to fill this place with chests. So I'm going to get on that and get back to you guys uh, once that's completed. Well, <laughs> there goes all my XP again. Oh, man. I, I really need feather falling. And, and thank God this is not... A hardcore world because th this would have ended after one and a half episodes would have ended twice now after two and a half episodes so I I really need to uh, get
get better armor and I need an XP farm. I have a zombie spawner down below my house, so that's probably going to be where I'm. I'll sit and grab some uh, some easy XP. But this is really uh, <laughs> this is really embarrassing. I keep on keep on dying from uh, pretty easy easy um, and avoidable ways of, of die, dying in this game. Let's see what he's got. Anything? Nothing I want. I like this new brown dye um, texture too. I'm glad that they they made that along with the blue dye. Uh, I know that was a few updates ago, but that that was a nice touch. Alright, let's see if I can... <laughs> I misplaced uh, scaffolding and fell. But let's see if I can jump over there now. I wanted to get this one extra block out so I didn't have... Oh, that might... No, that's not why, because I think I missed it entirely. Oh well, whatever. Alright, well I'm going to keep mining down. I, I planted a bunch of more, um, more of these, so hopefully um, more will grow as I'm chopping these down. I can chop down the ones that are already grown, but... Um, oh, there's another one. So I'm going to continue with this. There's another one. Um, I will be getting rid of the podzol, but for the time being I will be... Um, continuing to plant trees where the podzol is um, after I get a few uh, that are already planted uh, but no this this will not still be here when I do start to expand into this like little town area that I have planned um, this is a nice little area I do want it to have some paths though that go in different directions maybe have a path to a dock and then because then that kind of lets the mind wander and think like oh the dock must go up river and then what what's up river over there so um yeah so that's where i'm at um hopefully i don't die again um but no promises all right i'll talk to you guys in a little bit we ended up getting 12 almost um, 13 stacks of spruce wood logs and more saplings than we could ever use and a bunch of sticks so um, i'm pretty happy with how much we got I think that's going to get us through a lot. We're probably going to have to use at least four stacks just for chests. Um, I'm, I want to have a lot of chests in here. Um, I also need to figure out how I'm going to place them. Because I could place them out like this. Or I could place them facing like this way and have them lined up on their side. But I guess we will um, we'll see what happens. i got to... Uh, organize all that too and figure out where I want everything to go and have item frames on everything so another reason why I need to uh, set up a um, cow farm because we're going to need a lot of leather for the item frames um, but yeah I'm going to start again uh, working on the second level of, of the wall um, and then I as I was chopping down some of those trees there were uh, bees flying around over there at some of the oak trees that I planted um, I need to set up a bee farm as well because if I'm going to make a um, copper roof on a bunch of these buildings, I'm going to need a lot of the wax or the honey, whatever they call it. The is it whatever they call it. Um, I'm going to need a lot of that, um, so I got to set up that as well. I might do that in between episodes. Just uh, I don't really know a great. Um, Design to make a, a bee farm. I don't know if there's a way to make an automatic one, um, so I'll look that up. Uh, look up a tutorial for that and just have one set up. I th I'm pretty sure there is. You set up like a, a dispenser or something next to it with with shear shears in it, and uh, maybe observers or something. But then I, I'll have to go to the Nether and grab some some quartz. So we'll see what what I have to do for that. Um, if I have to do a manual farm, until then that's fine too. But I, I definitely got to get. Um, a decent amount I'd say about uh, of that so I'll um, finish up on the chest room get some of the uh, the balcony done and and uh, the walls and maybe start the ceiling um, or the roof uh, we'll see um, we definitely need more copper I really want to find one of those um, what are the uh, dripstone um, caves to grab a bunch of copper so I might do that as well um, I'll see how much copper I can actually fit up here uh, but yeah I'm gonna get started on that I'll let you guys uh, 
know if I have any updates or any more um, falling accidents because I still don't have feather falling and we're starting to get up uh, pretty high again. So uh, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Although now we don't have many levels to lose. So it wouldn't be as bad as what just happened. Uh, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, um, just as I just, as soon as I finish that, uh oh, we're in trouble. Just as soon as I finish that, uh, oh, and I don't have a shield. Uh, my shield is in that chest right over there. So I'm going to make, um, make one. Anyways, so almost as soon as I um, stopped recording, took a minute to look at something else and then immediately saw those guys pop up. Um, I'm also going to want a bucket of milk, but I can do that afterwards. All right, where are they? Oh! Is that, is that them? That was it? Oh, I'm glad they don't go after that guy. Alan would have been in trouble. I don't know if I told you guys, that guy's, that Alay's name is Alan. A-L-A-N, I need to name him though. But in case you guys were wondering. All right, let's see, let's um, let's sleep first. This isn't a village, I have no villagers near me, so I have no, no risk of, um, of any, uh, Raid starting, so I'll get some milk and get back to it. Alright, let me get rid of all this scaffolding here and I'll show you uh, how much work I've gotten done here in the chest room. Um, these guys keep getting stuck in here. Did I drop a. Okay. Um, so I've finished the rough ceiling, I haven't um, decorated the ceiling yet. I did cover it though, I'm gonna do some more, I think upside down stairs, I'm not sure what type yet. Um, and then I have not put the copper on the outside either, but so far this is what it's looking like. I think I'm gonna do a little bit more support on the bottom of this balcony, it's a little too flat for me right now. I think it needs a little bit more support to feel real, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is what, what we're looking like right now. Uh, it's very tall. A little taller than I was expecting. Um, there's going to be a lot of empty space up here. I might do some big windows over here. I think I'm going to have a doorway going out on this side, just like some of these. Maybe a little, little uh, narrower and taller than these ones, however. Um, so I will also be filling in all these chests um, in this corner, in these three other corners. These are going to be um, a full rectangle, not just um, sloped like to match the stairs however like with this with this corner over here um, I need to finish with this too I, need, I think I'm gonna do the same type of design like the upside down stairs and the the full blocks here I need to finish that then I'm going to put um, I think I'm just gonna do stone um, stone walls stone brick walls I should say uh, and this I think I will get that out of here put that in and that and that and that so i'll deal with the, all the other stuff after but i think that works out pretty perfectly lines up nice um, it is a little bit of a not too tight but i was able to work in a stairway to get up to this level not that you'd have to go far um, because you just have to go down this way around one and around two and then you're back down here but just an easier quick way to go from the uh, chest room to this will probably be the library on this floor. Um, I think that's a more, more convenient spot, or um, a convenient location, I guess. Um, the library needs to be more convenient, that's what I'm trying to say, uh, than the potions room, which will be in the next level. And then the level on top of that is going to be the trophy room. So I'm pretty happy with this. I think up here I'm gonna have another doorway going out through here into a balcony um, it, overlooking a courtyard. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, and this side I might just do a balcony not leading to anywhere. However this side might have walkways going from one side to the other. Uh, and then I'll do some chest in right here, some chest right here, and I'm not sure. Again I could might just do a big window. I might do some walkway out there. 
I could just leave it blank right now and then um, see what we what needs we have um, over here I'm gonna have to do some sort of design on this side I could open it up similar to, to uh, what we have here to look down I think that might be probably the best bet and I'll keep these little openings here because I don't think it looks too bad I like the design um, and also once we have elytra we will be able to just glide down all over the place I think that would be pretty convenient for us too um, so yeah I'm gonna open that up and have a similar style as um, what I did down here um, I also want to want to uh, design a banner for our little uh, town that we're gonna have here uh, I think a different banner for each town that we have is gonna be a cool idea um, I'm, I'm not sure what colors or like what primary color or secondary color we should be using for this area I'm not sure if it should match the biome but yeah I got to uh, think on that um, but yeah it's supposed to be night I'm gonna sleep um, oh you can see from the outside here not done yet still needs a little bit of work but I'm happy with it I think the other side might have a little bit more details than what than this one let's see and then I need to put some work in on the terrace I might not get to the terrace this episode so if I don't it will it will be completed at some point yeah so I'm, I'm happy with it it still needs a little bit of design a little bit of detail outside but overall I'm pretty pretty happy with how this looks so I'm gonna uh, start filling in all the chests try to fill in all of the item frames that I can right now I'm not sure how much I have uh, but I'll do that and I'll show you guys once I have that completed alright so we have the first floor done with chests now I'm wondering if I should upstairs not have them facing sideways like this but have them facing like the wide way forward um, it is a lot more space than I was expecting but I think that's fine I like that like there's it doesn't feel cramped it's very very spacious so we'll head upstairs I haven't put any chests down here or up here I mean um, but no maybe I'll do it the same exact way just in this little in these little corners and if we need more space than that, I feel like that's going to be a in a while, if that is the case, then I'll just make an expansion or, or, or rework something. But I think it's going to, oh, great. This guy. Oh, that was close. Okay, so I swapped out my original idea. I realized that there were way too many chests I thought um, I, I don't know why I thought I needed that many um, if we end up needing more I can go like one extra layer on some of these ones um, although if I if I'm gonna do one corner I want to do all of the corners that way it at least matches a little bit uh, but I'll show you what I have organized so far so over here is going to be the uh, overworld hostile mob drops um, everything that you'll get from pillagers will be in here um, it's not a whole lot right now I have some slime balls um, pretty you know self-explanatory stuff um, over here I'm gonna have some of the farming stuff then over here we have our ores um, placeholders for our netherite and quartz um, once we get to the nether, although I th think, am I missing one of these? I'm not sure, and if we are, we have a little bit of extra space to put up on top. Over here is going to be some blocks. Um, this I'm anticipating having to um, extend, um, but it is what it is. Uh, up here we have a few more chests. We have some six, six right here, and then two more corners oh that was close do I have any bows on me or any arrows on me I don't um, not too sure what I'm gonna put up here as of right now um, I guess we'll see what we <laughs> these guys don't stop I really need to do a better job of uh, letting up it would also help if I didn't have massive holes in my walls like that and no doors I don't think I've crafted a door on this world <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not a big fan of them I guess um, I 
yeah, I need to figure out what I'm putting up here, though. Um, I'm sure I'll find something. Maybe more blocks, blocks that I don't use as many of. Um, speaking of which, I'm running low on stone. This is all I have left for stone is three blocks. So if I want to build more of the castle, I'm definitely going to have to do that. And I'm going to have to enchant or repair my Silk Touch pickaxe because it's almost broken. So I have a lot to do in between episodes to get ready for episode four. Um, I'm probably going to go sit down at the zombie spawner below my castle for a little while and build up some XP with that. I still have decent durability with my other enchanted tools. Um, I will probably set up a minecart uh, track to go back and forth from there. I think I want to utilize minecarts uh, in this world because I it's something that I usually neglect and don't don't really use that feature. Um, but yeah, we have. Uh, I think we made some decent progress. I will try to finish up all of the storage room in between episodes or in the background of episodes. It's not going to be the main focus point moving forward, but I will showcase it once it's complete. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's all I have for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you guys for subscribing. I saw a few of you have subscribed in the. Um, since episode two. Ooh, don't blow up. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you are enjoying the series, uh, please comment uh, any ideas you have that you want me to build. Um, please comment any ideas for the castle as well. I'm pretty excited about this series still. I, it's been a lot of fun so far. It's been a lot of, um, a lot of learning, like the uh, video editing aspect as well. But thanks again, guys, um, and I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.